Hey, what's going on guys, Jeff here, and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Bungie Cord. This is going to be an in-depth tutorial, meaning if you are new to Bungie Cord and have no idea what it is, this is a tutorial for you. I'm going to go ahead and help all of you guys out here. So if you don't know basically what Bungie Cord does, is essentially it just connects multiple servers into one so players don't have to leave your server and re-enter IP to join all of your other servers. So it's really professional approach if you want to make a nice, well-balanced server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and launch Bungie Cord and restart your server. Once you have this, you're going to go into your config or FTP file access, and you're going to be uh, pulled up to this menu here. You're going to want to go ahead and actually click config here. So it's going to pull up all these words and text. Uh, if you are new to configuration and stuff, this might look a little intimidating, but if you just follow what I do, I promise you that you should have no issues and Bungie Cord should be up and running. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead is locate your player limits. It might not be the same for you on your config, depending on which version jar you're using. Don't worry. It's uh, basically all has the same information, just in a different format. You're going to want to go ahead and type any player limit you want. We're just going to go ahead and put 100 for this video. And you're going to want to go ahead and put IP forwarding to true here. And what this basically does, it allows uh, only premium accounts to join your server. So cracked accounts can't go ahead and steal your username and all that stuff that you don't want them to do. Here's your permissions. You could go ahead and add any permissions you want. Usually the default permissions are the standards that people actually like, so we're not going to be covering this in this video here. Um, timeout, you could keep the same. Log, out, log commands, you could keep the same. Online mode, true. You want to keep this as true. If it is at false, which it shouldn't be by default, but if it is, go ahead and change that from false to true. Alright, so we got servers here. And basically, the first line of servers, these are going to be your servers that you add to the to your bungee cord. Alright, so it's going to be default by lobby and this is what people are going to do. They're going to, this is the name that it's going to find inside the server. So people are going to type slash server space whatever you name it. So we're just going to go ahead and change this to hub. You could change this to whatever you want to call your servers here. Address, you're going to want to go ahead and put the IP address here which is your numbered IP. So you're going to want to go ahead and just put your numbered IP to whatever server you're adding. So let's just say hub server. You're going to want to put your numbered IP to your hub server right here. So let's just say, since we are using example servers and they're not real servers, let's just say our IP is 123.123. And this is going to be our IP. And if it does have a port, make sure to add the port. Let's just go ahead and put 22565 here. All right. Restricted, you should keep at false. You could change the message of the day, which basically, if people add it to their server list, this is what it would say. So let's just say, let's just say test here. I'm just gonna put test. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you want to put it. It's whatever you want to put. Um, and actually, if you have more than one server, you're gonna want to go ahead and highlight this uh, up to your name of your server here. Click enter and click uh, paste. You're going to want to go ahead and back up the names a little bit to align with this here. And you can go ahead and change the name as well. So let's just say you want to add Skywars. You can go ahead and put Skywars. You're going to make the address whatever you want to make it. Let's just say it's 12345.98.25565. So you're going to want to go ahead and put your address restricted false and you could go ahead and change the message day as well. You just want to go ahead and do that for every server you got. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go down to listeners. So max players, you're going to want to go ahead and set whatever you want for your max players. This is the max players that the players will be able to join. So let's just say you put it at 100. This means that only a hundred players could join your server. So we're just going to go ahead and keep that as 100 to align up with our player limit as well. Fallback server is basically if people are on Sky Wars, let's just say in this case, and Sky Wars goes down for some reason or maybe I reset, they want to add a fallback server, which means they don't actually get kicked out, but they get directed to another server of your choice, which is mainly the hub server that people like to put it. So we're just going to go ahead and put hub. 
That means if Sky Wars, let's just say I reset Sky Wars for maintenance, everyone playing Sky Wars will get redirected to the hub server. That way you don't really lose players and they could either choose a different game mode or wait for the reset in the hub with some parkour or maybe something like that. Alright, so host. This is the part where people actually get confused a lot on. I know I actually personally help people um, from my last video here. Uh, for my last bungee cord IP forwarding error video. And when I'm helping people, this is the part that most commonly gets confused. So make sure you pay attention to this part. The host is going to be the proxy IP, not the hub IP. People put, oops, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so people put the hub IP for uh, the host. What basically a proxy means is the server that the bungee cord is running on. So if your bungee cord is running on, let's just say the bungee cord IP, because bungee cord is a different server. It's just a whole separate server. So that server that bungee cord is running on is the IP you're going to want to put on the host, if that makes sense. So you're going to want to go ahead and just type the IP. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and put random, you know, r random things here. Um, since this isn't really a real server and we're just doing this for an example. Bind local address, you just want to keep as true. Ping pass through is alright, it's false. Global ping, alright, what this basically means is when people type tab, you're going to either want to put just the server or all your servers into one tab. Global ping is set good, so we're just going to keep it as global ping for all the servers throughout the server. Um, default servers, you just want to go ahead and change to hub. This is just the default server that you want people to connect to firsthand. Uh, forced host, you don't have to worry about that. That's just an example here. Uh, tab size, you could change the tab size. Let's just put 70 here just for uh, the fun of it. Uh, forced default server, you could put as true if you want. That means they will be forced to the actual default server here, which is the hub. Um, let's go ahead and change the fallback server to hub as well. Forgot to change that. Um, Alright, so message of the day. This is going to be your main message of the day for your server. So you're going to want to go ahead and put whatever you want here. And you could just change this as you please. Alright, so the quarry enabled and quarry ports you don't really have to worry about unless you want to add a server list type thing where it lists the actual players online and all that cool stuff with like a website or something. Alright, so groups is pretty much self-explanatory. It's just the groups that you want to add throughout your server. Connection throttle is fine at 4000 and you don't really have to worry about stats either. So after you're done with that, you could go ahead and save your settings here. And that's pretty much it for this. You're just going to go ahead and put your server properties and make sure that this uh, server, the one that proxy is running, is online. And all your subservers, which actually, let's go back to the config here for a second. Where is it? Right there. Um, you're going to want to make sure, well, let's just say subservers is pretty much like uh, the Sky Wars and stuff like that. You're going to want to make sure the Sky Wars and all that uh, cool stuff is set to offline mode. If you do not set it to offline mode, then it will not work. Another thing you want to do is go ahead and go on all your subservers and locate spigot.yml and go ahead and change bungee cord to true. You're going to also want to go ahead and locate bucket.yml and change uh, connection throttle to negative one. And if you guys do not remember these uh, settings and stuff like that because there's no visuals for it, all settings will be in the link in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.